welcome back to part two of a clean pour on a vase. So I did the pour. I have the vase to the side, as you can see here. Um, the hole is almost completely filled in. So we'll go ahead and finish filling that in. I just have a little stick here that's going to finish it off for me. I did put some silicone on the vase, which I don't think it dripped down onto the canvas, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some silicone in the painting itself on the canvas. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and tilt this. And basically, the silicone is just going to make some cells. It's not going to hurt the paint. It's not going to do anything to uh, the colors or anything. Like I said, in part one, it's hard to tell how much paint you actually have on the canvas when you're doing a clean pour, especially when you're doing like a vase, just because you can't, you have no way of actually measuring the paint as it's coming out. And honestly, how like the cup's already pre-planned and which I did not I didn't do any of that I was just a little frustrated and wanting to get some new bases which hopefully my customers will like this <coughs> sorry I got tickled my throat <coughs> oh, oh excuse me Those tickles like to sneak up on me. I don't know about the rest of you guys out there, but guys and gals, people, folks. Okay. I'm just going to try to, I'm not too happy with this corner down here, so I'm just going to try to see if I can get this corner a little bit more filled in and make me a little more happier. Okay. Trying to get that a little bit off center where the vase actually was at. I think I like that. What I think I'm going to go ahead and do is actually uh, torch it. Let's see if I can bring out some of those cells from the silicone. is still dripping so it's still moving still doing its thing I really do I really am liking these colors or just randomly picking colors but sometimes that's the best thing that happens is some 
random colors that you pick and they end up being super cute. I don't complain when happy accidents like that happen. This makes my life a whole lot happier and easier. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it. Even if it was an accident that my cat made because hopefully after I get done with the vases and I have other vases I can do as well. Because I'd like to do some other types of chain pulls. Because one person reached out to me and suggested to do a different type of chain pool where they're a little bit more together. So I was going to try that instead of doing like the actual flowers. Try to do them in like a, a U shape. I remember the video that they, the person sent me crackly and they were like in a cluster so it made like a bigger flower. So I wanted to try that. So I do have a couple of things I want to try that I haven't gotten to yet. So thanks for joining me. I hope you um, appreciate it. Um, if you want to reach out for, to me for any questions, comments, concerns about anything that I'm doing here, please don't be afraid to reach out. I enjoy talking about the paintings and um, the techniques and everything. I just think it's fascinating and fun. Sorry, you can't really see me, but I am here. I promise I am talking. <laughs> um, so yeah, whenever you're watching this, I hope you have a fantastic day. Have a good one. Bye.